What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another best tweaks video for iOS 12. Now I will keep all of these tweaks listed down in the description for those of you that want to try them out yourselves. Some of them will need you to add a repo to Cydia. I'll also leave the repo information down in the description as well. Uh, but anyways, the first tweak I got for you guys is called boulders. And it's a really cool tweak that kind of changes the way your folders are set up. It makes it an entire page instead of that kind of square that it normally is. So if we just go ahead and select on the folder there, as you can see, it kind of overtakes the entire page. It shows you how many apps are in this folder. And I think it just looks better than stock iOS. Again, that tweak is called boulders. No more separators is a very simple tweak that in my opinion, just makes iOS look a little bit better. So when we go into settings here, as you can see, there's no more separation lines. Uh, and I think it just kind of cleans it up a bit. If we go into Cydia, it is there as well. It's basically anywhere within iOS that there's separation lines. No more separators will remove all of those. So if we go to the tweaks here, as you can see, there's no separation lines. And I think it just cleans it up and makes it look a lot better. Again, that's called no more separators. Switch us is a handy multitasking tweak. So if we go ahead and open up multitasking here, and if we swipe down on one of our applications, as you can see, it gives us a bunch of options. You can close that current app, which happens to be Cydia. You can close all of your applications from multitasking, which I really do like. You can close other apps. So everything aside from that application, you can even respring your device, reboot it, power it off. And then you can just return to the last app if you want. So a very handy tweak for multitasking. Like I said, guys, that's called switch us status modifier allows you to add the date into your status bar. As you can see, the date is there next to the time. You can even hide other elements and it allows you to make some, some really nice adjustments to your status bar. Again, that is called status modifier. So the next couple of tweaks are actually from the same repo. I will leave the repo info down in the description, but I do want to add here really quickly before I cover these tweaks. Um, I recommend you guys to check out my previous video where I show you how to use iOS repo updates. And this application basically allows you to search for any tweak. So if you know the tweak name, you can search for it and it will tell you exactly what repo that tweak is from and it allows you to add that repo to Cydia. It's a super useful application. Again, like I said, I will leave the video link for that down in the description. For those of you that are always trying to find tweaks and you can't figure out which repo they're from, check out that video. It'll help you out a lot. But anyways, the next tweak we got is called Sleepy Time. So if we go into the clock application, let's go ahead and let's set an alarm for tonight at 11.30. Let's click on Save. And sleepy time, as you can see, when the alarm is toggled on, it shows you how long until that alarm goes off. It's a very nice little simple addition to your alarms, showing you how much sleep you're going to get or how much time there is until that alarm goes off. Again, that's called sleepy time. The next tweak I can't really demonstrate because my device is not near 20% battery, but it is called low battery banner. So what it does, instead of getting that annoying pop-up that iOS normally gives you when you hit 20% battery and also 10% battery, is you will actually get a banner notification instead, which in my opinion is a lot more nice looking than the annoying pop-up that kind of stops you in the middle of what you're doing. You gotta click on close. It's just much, much nicer to get that banner notification. Again, that's called low battery banner. So if you guys like to theme your device as I do, this is a cool little tweak. It basically makes Snowboard its own application. So normally when you install Snowboard, uh, which is the tweak that enables your themes, you have to get to it within the settings application. Uh, with this, you can basically get the application, which is just called Snowboard application. Uh, as you can see, you literally just launch it. It's the same as how it is in the settings application, but it's its own standalone app. And I actually really like that. I like having it as its own standalone application. Again, that's called Snowboard Application. Circle Settings is a simple tweak. If you guys noticed while we were in the settings application, 
all of the icons found in here are now circles. Very simple tweak, but it does make it look really good in my opinion. If we go into the tweak section here, as you can see, all of the icons here are circles as well. Uh, like I said, a very simple little tweak, but it looks really good. Again, it's called circle settings. And the last two tweaks I got for you guys kind of go hand in hand. And I'm sure you've noticed the kind of fluid bursts going on in my background. Uh, that is from the tweak Zen HTML and from the widget Fluid Widget, which looks absolutely awesome. As you guys can see, when I swipe around on my home screen, you get the burst fluid kind of effects to it. Uh, there's the random ones that go off here and there. It's just really, really cool. So basically what Zen HTML is, if we go into tweaks here, swipe, not, not close here, swipe down to Zen HTML. Uh, this allows you to use widgets on your lock screen and on your home screen. So if we go to my home screen, you have your background widgets and I've basically added the widget there. That, that is the widget right there, guys. It is hs.ryu underscore 006 fluid widget. Uh, and I'm using the transparent version. Um, but like I said, Zen HTML allows you to add widgets to your home and lock screen. You can have multiple layers. You have other options. It's a really nice put together tweak. And uh, that's how I'm getting those really cool looking effects on the home screen. And that's why I'm using the kind of uh, black background just so you guys can really see what it looks like. I think it's just such an awesome looking effect to have as you swipe from page to page on your device. Just such a cool looking effect. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed these tweak lineup. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. Be sure to check out my previous top 25 tweaks video. If you guys have any questions about any other tweaks you've seen on my device, I'll leave the video link for that in the description as well. Uh, but anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.